the AA and the Architectural Association, which is a, probably the best, was the best architecture school in England at that time, and had been the more radical advanced back in the 30s and 40s when, you know, some of the best architects like Maxwell Fry and people who taught there really were the leading modern architects of the period. So I went there and it was fun. I mean, I had a great time, five years of architecture school. One of my studio teachers was uh, an architect called Leonard Manassi, and he was a modernist architect. He ran the studio, and he was a very dynamic figure. He and his partner both taught, Ian Baker. They were very, very different from one another. You know, Leonard was the, the star and glamorous and colorful, and Ian was sort of more of a worker, but he was also a very, very sweet man and both very good architects. And Leonard had made his name what designing building for the Festival of Britain in 1951, I guess that was. It was a big event and it made a lot of architects' names because a lot of young architects were hired to design pavilions for that festival and that really got Leonard started. So by the time I came to the office, he had a, an established practice and he was doing schools and I guess some public housing, but I went to the office to work there and almost immediately started work on his house, his own house in Highgate, and a house for a private client on the adjacent piece of property. I think he owned both lots and sold one of them to this client. So I worked on two private houses, uh, right from sort of early design right through construction, uh, construction documents and then supervised construction. So it was a great experience for somebody straight out of school because I got to see the whole thing from beginning to end.